Hello everybody. So today I will talk about physics. The topic today is about half life. So now I will show you how to answer the formula of the half life in here. So we have the, the amount. So I will put about a in here. And that's about zero. And we put about eight in here. Because this is about a half line, so we have two multiply or two to the power of negative small t over capital T. So they want to find what is the half line in days that's about capital T. So we also know that after 300 days, that's about the small t in here. We have 79.4%. That means we have 8 over 80 equal to 2 to the power of negative small t over capital T. So this one divided by this one, we will have about 0 0.794 equal to 2 to the power of negative 300 over capital T. Now we can use about natural law for the both side. So because we have the power inside natural law, so we put this one go outside. So we will have about negative 300 over capital T LN number 2. So we can find about capital T in here. We put T on the left and this one will go to the right. So we have negative 300 over LN of 0 0.794 multiplied by LN number 2. We use the calculator and we have the final answer. So we have 901 boy 47. Because the question is set, round your answer to two decimal place. And here is the answer we need to find in here. And we put about this. Question number two, how long would it take the sample, the sample to decay to one third of its original amount? So we will use the formula in here. So this one we have 1 over 3 capital T we just calculate in here so we just put 901 by 47 so we use about natural law for the both sides so we have small t over 901 boy 47 ln number 2 so we put everything on the left to find the value of t so we have ln 1 over 3 over ln number 2 multiplied by 901 Boy 47 with the negative sign and we have the final answer 
So this one we have 1428.80 days. And this is the final answer we need to find in here. This is the end. Thank you for watching.